Happy Friday, everyone. I'm meteorologist Adrian Vaughn and we'll take a look at the tropics. Things starting to heat up just a little bit across the Atlantic. We do have a tropical wave to finally talk about. Things have been just so, so calm out there the last two, three weeks here uh, in the Atlantic Basin. So we do have something to chat about, and that's this tropical wave as it works its way uh, towards the west. It looks like it will be organizing just a little bit, and we could see a, dis a disturbance for within the next five days. The National Hurricane Center giving it a medium chance, 60% chance of development as it works its way westward. Uh, a lot of the models with this one, though, do continue to keep things off to the south. So that's some good news. You see the spaghetti plots with this one continuing that trek westward towards sections of the uh, Lesser Antilli Antilles and then across parts of northern South America as well. And eventually this could end up in the southern Caribbean, perhaps impacting sections in Central America. It's so, so far out at this point. There's a lot of things that can certainly change between now and then. Uh, you know, you look at the end of where these spaghetti plots are, and that's probably sometime next week. So uh, we're looking at several days away until it even gets closer to any land mass. Meanwhile, in the Pacific, that's where we are still watching Tropical Storm Celia starting to gain a little bit of momentum here, but it is working its way away from land. So good news. And as it moves westward, it's starting to move into some cooler water as well, but it still could become a category one hurricane in the next 24 hours. So something that we're continuing to watch. Max sustained winds with this one right now, certainly uh, something that we're also monitoring right now sitting at 65 miles per hour. But overall, just that tropical wave in the Atlantic Basin and Celia in the Pacific. Overall, things not looking all that bad for us as we head throughout the next couple of days. We'll continue to keep you up to date on the very latest. Hey, if you haven't already, download that Fox 26 weather app and connect with us on social.